Welcome back guys. Like I said, I'm here again and it hasn't been like three, four weeks. It's actually been a reasonable time frame. So thank goodness for that. It's actually like midnight, one in the morning, but I thought I got to get a video filmed because I got to keep these things coming out. Also, filming videos means I'm working on my stuff usually, which doesn't happen as often. So hey, if I do videos, I can actually get some of my stuff done, which is so cool. And I would love to be working on this thing today, but I'm not. All right, so we're gonna be working on basically the engine setup, the single turbo setup for the uh, the single turbo setup that's going in the pink car. Uh, I got my mock-up engine here, which I've been working on a single turbo kit for a customer car, which I've shown you guys before. Uh, but yeah, we're going to work on the single turbo setup for the pink car. If you haven't seen anything about that build, I'll catch you up real quick here. We got big, big, big turbo. She's going on there instead. And that's basically all that I said so far. It's also a six speed swap car. I put a six speed in it. Super cool car. You can go back and watch videos if you want. Don't worry about it. If you don't have to, you know, just subscribe now. And watch the videos to come so yeah but we got some goodies here not don't worry about this this is something else just don't worry about it but here these are some of the little secrets i've had kicking around here for a long time i've not shown um yeah so if you didn't watch the other video this is a gretty t88h 34d turbo real big sucker you know we're going for a thousand horsepower this should get us either close or there, but it's a good place to start. So, yeah, 1,000 horsepower bust, right? Woo! All right, cool turbo. Anyways, quit jiggling around. You're making too much noise. We got these parts. What are these? Well, little known fact, Japan got like four or five other versions of the dual overhead cam VG that North America didn't get. They got a single turbo, a non-turbo. Basically, the single turbo was an early version. Then they got a non-turbo version of the early version. Um, they got like a later version that was like single turbo as well. That basically still based on the early version, but a little later, a little different. They also got um, a VG20 version, a two liter version uh, that still shared the same DNA. Lots of versions, different rods, different crank, but basically same DNA, just different castings and slightly different versions. That's what this is from. These are from a 300 ZR, which is actually a Z31 with a VG30 DET engine. Um, so yeah, let me go over some of this. This right here is the real magic. These are just the timing covers that are just obviously a lot cleaner. Well, I say cleaner, but I mean, I need to clean them out. The top doesn't have all the bumps on them. This one has a bunch of bumps, but the rest, basically lower, no big intrusions, more room for activities. And, uh, you know, activities, these kind of activities. But this right here is the little secret, and I want to test fit this today. Because this is a lower intake manifold. Maybe I should grab a stock one. I don't know if I have a stock one on my shelf. But this thing has ports that are like twice the size of the stock ports on the VG we know. And the ports go basically straight up. Which will help a ton with airflow. Of just getting that airflow straight down into the cylinders. This should flow way more volume on the size and the direction everything so that's awesome also super cool thing about this is it uses top feed fuel injectors from the factory um it's a really weird fuel injector where they've got a top feed and then this line is the return it's hard to see in there but it's a top feed side return system it is funky it's similar to uh, like the old vgs that were uh single overhead cam but, uh, yeah. Anyways, I can get replacement injectors for them that are top feed that drop right in. And then I just delete on this line. 
Um, and I can still use actually the stock top fuel rail. Am I going to do that? Probably not. I'll probably just make my own top fuel rail. I don't know. We'll see what I get for pinch for time, but so cool that they do that, that top feeds just drop right in, fit real nicely, not protruding up. But I mean, since we're doing this one anyways, we'll probably do like a real big custom, you know, intake. Anyways, we'll get to that later. The big thing is today is I bought this assuming it would bolt up to the, the uh, normal twin turbo heads that we know. And I know the ports won't match and I'll have to do probably some aluminum filling, some aluminum TIG welding to fill in that and then do some porting and, and make it work. Like that's going to take some customization. But I don't even know if the angles are the same and if it'll bolt up. So, I mean, you got like this angle and this angle or where the heads come up. I don't even know if that's the same. Because the engine this is from does use a completely different head. They use completely different block. Actually, even the block is a different casting. Um, so, yeah. So, today, I'm going to tear this thing down. And we're going to test fit this intake and the throttle, the cam covers. And we're going to see where we're sitting. And hopefully, hopefully we're sitting pretty. Hopefully it all bolts up. And then we just got to do some mods to uh, the runners and everything. But, uh... Today we find out. To uh, get that lower intake off, you gotta take the timing belt off because the top pulley is attached right to that lower intake, unfortunately. So, start off by taking all those timing covers off and then taking the belt off. And that way I could get to that pulley and get the pulley off right there. And then, here, taking the platinum off after. I thought I'd just pull you guys out quickly to say, look at how nasty this engine is. She is filthy. Yeah. Yeah. She rough. All right, I'm gonna pull that, uh, this lower intake off here and the cam covers here. And, uh, and uh, yeah, we're gonna keep going with her. All right, well, hopefully you can see me. I changed the angle of uh, you guys for, uh, you know, entertainment purposes. Um, and we're gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna do, let me get uh, clean up. Man, this engine, super filthy. Um, anyways, I think we're gonna start with the valve covers because uh, they should definitely 100% work. So, first things first, we gotta clean this thing out. Number one, beauty. Number two, beauty as well. Let me just stick a little bolt in there to hold it. And intake side for this one. Look at that, easy peasy. Nothing to it. Probably get a bolt ready this time. Sweet. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm not really sure what I'm doing for the PVC, PCV, positive crank ventilation, PCV, yet. Um, there's three bungs on here. Three bungs in, let's have a little time, huh? One, two, three. I might just delete on this one and use these two. I might weld on a nice fittings to them or something. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see uh, how ambitious I get. But I should clean these up. But super cool. These are way lower. Way more. I don't know. They look. They look nicer. I like them. 
<sighs> and now for the big test. The thing I am super nervous about, will this thing even fit? Because this is one of the big pieces I base this whole build around. There's a couple really big horsepower cars, really legendary cars in Japan that I know run this intake, but I don't know what heads they use. So yeah, they probably use the other style heads. They probably had a lot of work done. But uh, I don't know if this will fit, so uh, here goes nothing. Oh, please. Oh, where's my bolt holes? Okay, that's good. Oh, I gotta take this stud out. I'm stinking studs left on this one. All right, round two. Will this fit? It looked like the bolt holes line up. Yep, the studs do. Hey, hey, oh, oh yeah. Oh frick, that is cool. Yep, she lines right up it looks like. We have our oil passages line up. Our, wow, okay. So, our, <sighs> I gotta get a light down here for you guys. Our runners, not even close. Well, when I say not even close, I mean like, yeah, not even close. But we can work with this. We can definitely work with this, I think. Let me bring you in close and show you what we got going here. All right, first off, how cool does that look? Yeah, that's pretty sweet, right? Very sweet. Um, see if I can get a light working on this thing. I don't know how. We got down in the runners there. I don't know how to show you guys this. You see that at the bottom of the runner? Yeah, that's that's a lot, a lot of movement we got to do. And the top, if you can see that right there, that uh, little hole you see. Yeah, that's that's normally for the injector. So I gotta fill that. But that means the top should be really close to the top of the runner. So I gotta bore out the bottom there. Man, this is so hard to see, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, right there. You can see that better now. You see the bottom there? I gotta clean all that out. Then I'm probably gonna have to fill more material for the gasket. We'll see if I can mark it and pull this intake off to know for sure, but it fits and it freaking looks sick. It actually looks so sick. I'm about that. Yeah, and then just a big single intake going like this with a big throttle body. Oh, uh, yeah. But now I got to think about turbo, which I want to do really quick as well. Get this light off of me. Because. See if I can get you guys set up quickly. Uh, zoom in in. Whoop. Okay, that's right where we started. All right, good enough. Good enough? Uh, gotta make sure you can see my head when I get over there. Okay, oh, we got turbo. And I'm thinking, hmm. Yeah, you know what, even like, Honestly, I don't know. I don't even know. Huh. <laughs> I gotta turn it so you guys can see. You see that a little better? Yep. Let's see. Huh? Oh, a little bit. Not great. Boo doo. Doo doo doo. Zoom her on out. Don't look at my messy floor. Anyways, I'm thinking maybe like that, you know, just like that. I'll turn her right straight for you guys. We'll get uh, that pointing down like that. 
we'll get the exhaust coming here and going whoop. And then we'll have that exhaust going whoop. And uh, yeah, I think, what do you guys think? Just like that, ish, right there. Clock it so the exhaust turns faces down as well. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking, I'm thinking rightly so. Alrighty, well, I gotta keep working. No, I gotta edit this video and go to bed. Alright guys, well, uh, you know, like, subscribe. I know you want to see this uh, little snail putting boosties into this little thing, so, uh, follow. <laughs>